Let me tell you about some interesting new research by a recent PhD graduate at my department. But first a bit of background. Intimate partner violence against women is a serious health and human rights issue all over the world. But it differs considerably between places, depending on, for example, gender equality and women's empowerment. In 2004, the Spanish Parliament approved a law to address gender-based violence in Spain. It's one of the most comprehensive laws in the world on this issue. The law highlights the responsibility of the healthcare system as suggested by the World Health Organization. Dr. Amaya Macuibar has done research on how well the healthcare system has implemented the law. The risk is that people say this law is not working. Mm. And it's not the law that is not working, mm. it's that it's being implemented poorly. So what is not working? It depends <clears throat> on the willingness of each of the healthcare workers in this case. This can be illustrated by a quote from one of the interviewed coordinators of the healthcare response to intimate partner violence. There are professionals who tell me, this is an issue that I really dislike. Then I told them, okay, you don't have to deal with it yourself, there are other professionals who can do it, you're not forced to do it. I think that those cases taken care of by professionals who do not want to do it do not work out well. I don't think that everybody can take care of those cases. This quote illustrates, first, that some healthcare professionals don't want to work with intimate partner violence cases, and second, that they are allowed to back out and not work with it. This implementation is a strong link with gender and how yeah. gender is understood by individual workers. Yeah. It's hard to accept that gender-based violence is grounded on gender issues, because gender is something that we have never been taught. I mean, have you seen anything about gender or gender-based violence at medical school? We were not taught. There was a lack of knowledge about uh, gender issues, but also a lack of understanding from some decision makers that partner violence is connected with gender equality. Yeah, do a more close follow-up mm. and think about it from the beginning. How are we going to make this real? Because yeah. in the paper it's so nice. And something that is missing both in the implementation and in the law itself mm. is putting more, more effort in prevention of yeah. intimate partner ah. violence. Yeah. This is something that is... Um, uh, forgotten yeah. and that we should take into account if we really want to eradicate this type of yeah. violence. Yeah.